Hey guys, and thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Adonis, and welcome. How are you lovely people today? I am great, 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 great. I feel good, I feel rested, I feel happy. But as you can see from the title of this video, this is going to be a shoe collection video. Um, I'm not a big shoe person. I am not like a sneakerhead. I do like shoes, um, but I've been acquiring some really cool shoes lately, and I wanted to kind of put them all in a collaborative video for you guys. Um, I went through and kind of price checked all of my shoes and came to find out that my shoe collection is worth about $1,300 to $1,400, which doesn't seem like a lot, but that's a lot of money for shoes. So the first style of shoes that we'll start off with are boots. Um, I am a very, I'm a boot person. I love boots. I've always been a boot person, um, and so we'll just jump straight into it. The first pair of boots are a recent purchase that I got, and I'm completely in love with them. I've only got to wear them <laughs> once, and for the price that they were, that's kind of sucky, but I don't know, they're cool. They are these green, um, kind of forest green Timberland boots. Um, I got these at Foot Locker. Um, I think at the end of the day, I wound up paying $198 for them. So they're just these green Timberlands right here. Um, pretty dope, pretty cool. I've only got to wear them once because right after I got them, it literally like jumped to spring randomly in Kansas. And I'm used to it being cold here until May, but it's gorgeous outside. But yeah, they're these green Timberlands. Keeping it in the family, um, I have the Wheat Tims. I wound up getting these for $110. From um, Marshalls, they were $110, um, and I got these oh a year and a half ago, the wheat ones, and you can pick these up literally anywhere. The next boot that I have that I'm going to show you guys is possibly one of my most favorite boots that I've ever owned or ever have seen. I saw one of my Instagram somebody I followed on Instagram had them years like a year and a half ago, um, and I was like, this is so dope. I need me a pair of them, and so I got a pair of Doc Martens. Um, these. I think I wound up paying like $128, $130 for these, but they're kind of, they're kind of like an ombre kind of two-tone boot um, in black and burgundy, and I just thought these were really dope, um, but they are just the Doc Martens in the um, kind of like a patent leather material, um, and they're like a burgundy and black kind of ombre type of um, color to them and I, I just think they're pretty dope. The next boot that I got next to me are very much of a Kanye inspired boot. I wanted a boot um, that I, in this color particularly, that wouldn't have broken my bank at the time. And so I found these lovely suede, um, kind of like a camel tan boot. I got these from Aldo Shoes. Um, these were 60 bucks, free shipping. Um, and I got these a year and a half ago. Um, around the same time I got the other pair of shoes, but they're just these. Um, they're just a um, suede Chelsea boot pretty much um, with a round toe. I completely love them. I style these all the time, guys. Um, you see them literally all the time, but yeah, $60 out of shoes. If you're looking for great shoes, affordable prices, definitely check out out of shoes sales section. The next boots I'm going to show you are also from out of shoes and I got these a year and a half, two years ago, and they are these Scottino patent leather boots. Um, and these were a hundred and thirty-five, maybe hundred thirty-five dollars bucks. Um, and they're really dope. They have the gold lining on the heel, um, so I really felt like I was, you know, the shit when I wore these. But he was resting. Sorry, y'all. Uh, and they just have a really dope gold heel on them. Um, they do hurt when I wear them, but. No, beauty is pain. Beauty is pain. So the next pair of boots that I um, got is another re recent purchase within the last couple of months. I think it was in my huge January. It was in my huge January haul. Um, and they are from Zara. And they are these boots right here. They have the kind of um, ridge detailing on the bottom. So they're good for gripping if you're walking in the snow. Um, you can't slip in there. Um, leather line. The material that the boot is made out of is not leather, I don't think, but they are leather lined, so they will last. The inside is a blue fur material, so they do keep your feet warm. My feet sweat, and so they literally keep my feet hot. Um, but they have a zipper on the side right here. These were $98 from Zara. 
on sale they were 90 on sale they were $89 my bad <laughs> $89 um, from Zara and I got these um, they just have the blue on the inside and they're just pretty dope boots they're black I love black boots um, yeah and I just think these are cool this next pair um, of this next pair of boots these next boots um, are my favorite boots of like all time I wear them every day if not every other day um, and you guys probably know what I'm talking about these are the Frank Wright boots from ASOS these were sixty six dollars when I got them um, about a year ago and they have a pointed toe on them they're a Chelsea boot they have a little heel on them they're just dope and they I mean they're great quality I got these from ASOS but Frank Wright UK has their own website that you can go to and purchase them but these boots um, are about $200. So you can't have enough black boots. And as you guys can see, I have three, four pair of them. Um, but I just think they're really super dope. But the next thing that we're going to talk about today um, are tennis shoes. Um, I have a little, I've never been, again, I've never been like a sneakerhead. I've never like liked shoes like that. And so venturing out into getting some cool tennis shoes was always something I wanted to do. The first pair are these New Balances right here. These are from Urban Outfitters. They still have this exact shoe in two colors. They were 50 bucks, um, still on sale, still full of stock. I think they're out of tens and tens and a half. Um, but yeah, mine are ten and a half, but I did get these. These are 50 bucks again. And I wear them all the time. They're just cool, kind of funky shoes to spice up an outfit. This is the next shoes that I'm going to show you guys um, are my Nike Air Maxes. I've always wanted a pair of Air Maxes, but I could never find them for the price point that I wanted them to be at. I still wasn't able to find them for a price point that I was um, wanting them to be at, so I just went out on whim and bought them full price. Um, I'm not angry with my purchase, I'm not regretful of my purchase because they, these are amazingly comfortable shoes and they go with every outfit. Um, I wound up paying $135 for these shoes um, and I got them from the Nike website. They came in about three or four days um, and they're just the white Air Maxes. Got, I think pretty much everybody on the planet has a pair of white Air Maxes. I think they're originally they're $119 um, but I had to get expedited shipping so that took it up to that. But yeah. The next shoes that I'm going to show you guys I've had for about a year and a half, um, going on two years, mm, about a year and a half, maybe, um, and they are the Nike Roshi Runs. I have them in red and white, and the check mark is gray. Um, I did wind up getting these, I think, I can't even remember, I think these were $89.99, um, they, I wound up paying $90, like a little over $90 for them, maybe $96, something like that. Um, but I did get the Roshi Runs. I don't actually run in these. Um, I have other running shoes that I can't find right now. Um, these are really pretty much for style, but I have not worn these, and I don't have anything to wear them with. Um, so I do still have these. I'll probably try to style them up soon so they don't go to waste, but still in great condition. Um, they're just the Nike Roshi Runs. And my last pair of like tennis shoes um, will have to be these slide-ins right here. Um, these were 20 bucks from ASOS. They are like a woven leather slide in um, I got them on sale they still have these shoes I don't think they're $20 anymore I think they're back up to like 35 or 40 um, but they are these um, slide in the last couple of pairs of shoes that I'm going to show you guys are dress shoes and then I'm uh, my Birkenstocks but um, our dress shoes they are just these right here just plain black um, I think that I don't know how they're pronounced brogs um, Yep, I got these from JCPenney's. They were $30. I got them two years ago. And I also have these um, loafers that you guys have probably seen in my uh, How to Style Denim video and videos prior to that. They are a Johnson & Murphy loafer, and these were gifted to me from my father. And the very last pair of shoes that I'm going to show you guys, and the last shoes and the last shoes in my collection, I don't know if I'm wearing that right, um, will be my Birkenstocks. My Birkenstocks. Guys, I'm completely in love with these Birkenstocks. I wear them pretty much every day. They're such a versatile shoe. Um, I want another pair, and I'll probably eventually get another pair. I wound up paying about $100 for these, um, and I got them from Zappos.com, and that's where I found the cheapest um, the cheapest price for these. But these are the Arizonas um, and the brown leather Birkenstocks. I mean, who doesn't love a good Birkenstock? A lot of people don't like them. They say that they're ugly. But pretty much everybody on my campus, like in my college campus, wears them, and I completely love mine. I want another pair. Um, 
might end up getting those. I don't know. So yeah, guys, that was my shoe, boot, and sandal collection. I just wanted to give you guys some insights on what kind of shoes I'm wearing. Because a lot of the times you guys only see like my Air Maxes or the Chelsea boots from the Frank Wright boots. If you like videos like these or like this particular video, definitely give the video a thumbs up. Um, make sure you're commenting, leaving your feedback and suggestions. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, make sure you stick around to the end to see previous videos and links to um, my Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And they're also in the description below. Make sure you're opening the description as well. I will leave links to these shoes so you guys can kind of check them out and see um, if they're any, something you'd be interested in buying. So um, I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't have anything else to say except have a great day. Thank you for watching. I love you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.